coming to you from Studio 703, a show made for students by students. This is Bronco TV. Hey Broncos, it's Bex. And I'm Blake, and welcome to another episode of Bronco TV. Hey Blake, how are your new classes going? Bex, we have the same exact schedule. We do? We are literally in all the same classes. As the new term begins, along with starting new classes, events have been happening around campus for students to help out each other and their community. With the end of the year approaching, many students attended the Community College Night in preparation for their future. Guided by college counselors, students received valuable information about their educational and career options. A part of our annual blood drive, students and teachers were given the opportunity to donate blood to those in need. Thank you to all the students and staff who were able to help. The 2018 Human Relations Conference for the first time this year was offered to both sophomores and juniors. The goal was to create a better understanding of the importance of communication between peers and build a stronger, more unified campus. What I love about this school is you've got students that genuinely care. And so today's about having the conversations and playing and just really interacting with each other. The sole purpose of HRC is just to allow students to finally be real, to be authentic, and to allow them to see you know, the others being authentic, and I think it creates an idea that we're not alone. I think the, the motivation behind increasing uh, involvement this year was just with that our sophomores really appreciated uh, going through the process. The idea is to revisit it and do something slightly different, but also to remind uh, juniors about the experience that they had when they were sophomores and hopefully bring back some of those connections. I am so grateful that they're in my life because I truly consider all these students my gifts. Everybody here has a story, and it's a choice to actually listen, to put the cell phone down, and check in on the people around us. Hey Broncos, it's Brandon. I'm here with your ASB update. First of all, this Friday is the RB Power Game at 7 o'clock. Be there to watch us ball out. Next, we're celebrating Black History Month around the campus. Go check out the posters. Also. One-act scripts are due February 26th, Miss Rogelstad. Seniors, the Senior Disney trip is coming up. Stay tuned for information. Thank you. Stay classy, Broncos. Get your, get your head in the game, Bex, guys. Bex, what are you doing? I'm getting hyped up to cheer on my favorite team tonight. What team? Our basketball team. They're the best. As we continue through the winter season, our Bronco athletes are heating up the competition. Despite all their tough schedules, it's been a great season. Especially roller hockey who finished off their season with a league title and are heading into playoffs with the number one seed. With an undefeated record in league, boys basketball is making it a very memorable season. Trying to finish off the season right, they are also working hard to achieve their team goals. One of our main goals going into the season was definitely to try to win league again. Uh, we Last year was the first time in 13 years we'd won. We moved up divisions this year, so definitely going to be a lot tougher than last year in D2. Most of us played together since at least fourth or fifth grade. I played Bronco ball all throughout elementary and middle school, which is like the feeder program. So a lot of the high school coaches have Bronco ball teams, so I've known a lot of the coaches for a long time. Play fast, but play under control. Don't hurry. I played here at Rancho Bernardo. I'm an alumni, so I've been, I spent a lot of time in this gym. It's uh, um, a really special privilege to, to be the head coach here and continue a tradition that I think has been really successful. Make sure you come out to watch our winter sports finish off this season with a slam. Okay, Broncos. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Hey, cut. Dude. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right, back to business. Wait, wait, wait. I think our Broncos should get a sneak peek of what's behind the camera. 
digital media may seem like a surface level fine art, but behind the scenes students are gaining unique opportunities and experiences to express their creativity in the world of media. RB Digital Media provides students with an environment to explore both the technical and creative aspects of film and broadcast. Besides working on the technical side and getting the shots, stuff like that, you're really learning how to manage a crew and working with a team as well as being a teacher to them and helping them learn as well. You're able to learn how to craft a story and how to make a story flow and to really connect with the audience and get them involved in your subject that you want to portray. A part of the Career and Technical Education program, RB Digital Media inspires and prepares students for careers in and out of the media field. This class is designed specifically to be able to take students from interest to competency where they can be employable, even at a basic level. And I can tell you right now, we currently have students that do get hired. Among the many opportunities available, students have the chance to work alongside alumni of the program. There's a sort of great pool of resources for me as an alumni to tap into uh, students who are looking for experience in different arenas of, of the film's, film world. And so that's great for me to have access to, but it's also great for you know, the current students to sort of have that opportunity to go into a real world situation and learn about the creative process. It's amazing to see where they're at now. It's really significant and you know, they have a real takeaway that they can leave our school and our program with that is something that I don't think they will ever forget. So Blake, how was your Valentine's Day? I mean, it was, uh, it was pretty good. I was just chilling with my girlfriend. What about you, uh, any special dates? Oh yeah, you know, just, uh, just uh, chilling with my dog. Cool. I don't know what to do. I mean, they both asked me on a date and I guess I just panicked. I know, but it's common sense. Yeah, I know, but they're just both so cute. Yeah, I guess I'll just go on a date with both. So I fake left and I went right and then boom, two points. It was amazing. Best play I've ever done. And my defense, don't even get me started on my defense. Wow, this is almost better than the time like fake right. Steal. Take out take. It was amazing. Like no team can match us. Wow, the stars are oh, so nice. This, this chicken is so dry. <laughs> it really could use some lotion. <laughs> like, like my lotion for the dry skin. <laughs> Got it. Great, he makes <laughs> jokes. Yeah, that was good. My day was good. I'm pretty tired. It was pretty busy. So what are some of the things you like to do outside of school? Well, I really like photography. I, I like just capturing the right moment and keeping it as a memory. That's awesome. I hope I get to see some of your work someday. I like that. This food is so good. We're so lucky to have food on our plates. I completely agree. I actually signed up for a trip to help those in need. Oh, the mission trip? Yeah, why? I signed up for that too. Oh, cool. This day couldn't have gone better. Oh my gosh, I just had the best date. No, why? I'm so stupid. Well, that's all for this episode, Broncos. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, like, like and subscribe. Experiences. Darn it, I screwed it up. Hey, shut Marina. up. Oh, clown said It's your boy, Young Zazu, Chef Boy RZ, with the ASB update. Stay classy, RB.